Hi everyone, today's tutorial is three easy short hairstyles for toddlers. I've received several requests from subscribers who have daughters that are two or under and they have that really short hair and they're wanting some ideas for hairstyles. But my daughter also has long hair and these styles make great half up hairstyles so I think they would work for anyone but they're just simple and cute half up styles. Now for our first style, what I'm doing is I'm parting the hair down the center and I'm creating a side part as well. Next, I'm gonna create a small box at the front of the hair and I'm going to tie that off with elastic. One of the things you wanna remember with short hairstyles is that you have to get elastics in the hair. There's no way that these big hairstyles where the hair goes to the back are gonna work for short hair. So what I like to do is always get an elastic close to the front of the hair as possible. That way it's going to hold those fine baby hairs in place all day. Another thing you really want to remember is to use water or spray gel to hold your style in place. That way all those fine baby hairs are just going to work well when you're braiding. So right here I'm just attaching my braid to that second square down that I just made. And then I'm gonna repeat those same steps on the other side of my hair. So I'm creating a small square at the front. Now whenever you're creating two hairstyles that look alike, just make sure that you're looking at the other side and trying to make where you're placing your ponytails as even as possible. It's gonna look so much better when you're done with your hairstyle. The other thing to pay attention to is your parts. Do your parts two or three times to get them to look as straight as possible. You know, don't feel like you just have to swipe through it. It'll make your hairstyle in the end look so much better. So once I have my second square in place, I'm just going to go back and do a simple three strand braid and I'm going to attach it to the back ponytail. Now you can see if your hair was short, this would hold in place. From here, I'm just going to take those two back pieces, combing them through so that they look nice and smooth. And then I'm just going to attach the two pieces in back with an elastic. Then I like to add a cute bow to the style. I'll leave a link below where you can get this bow and also any product that I'm using in this tutorial. So my second hairstyle, I'm going to create a rectangle section at the top of the child's head. And I'm gonna tie it off again with an elastic. I go through so many of these elastics and these are my favorite ones that I use. The purple and the pink I probably use the most. Next, I'm going to see how I wet the hair down. And next, I'm gonna take a small section on the side and I'm gonna put it into another elastic. I find that it's easier to make your parts if you're using water to smooth down the hair. That fine baby hair is really hard to part when it's dry. So I find that just wetting it down will really help with your parts. So I'm just repeating those same ponytails on the left side of the head. Okay, once you have that in place, you're gonna take those front ponytails and smooth them down. And then I'm gonna use another elastic and attach them together. 
From there, I'm just gonna divide them back out and attach them to the next ponytails down. And then I'll bring them back together and attach them over my ponytail. How cute is that style? I think it would look perfect on short hair. My third style is a diagonal pull-through braid. So what I'm gonna do here is just create a side part and then I'm going to just make small ponytails and I'm gonna start making them on a diagonal. So I'm making the tiniest of ponytail at the front of the hair. And then from there, I'm just gonna go down and making my parts again, I'm trying to make a diagonal line going across the child's head. Now, one thing I wanna remind you about with all of these little ponytails, don't ever try to just pull them out at the end of the day. Make sure you take a scissors or some kind of seam ripper to cut them out at the end of the day. And the way I do that is I just pull um, the rubber band up away from the other ponytails and clip it off. Don't clip it right next to the hair because otherwise it hurts the child's hair and it will damage it as well. So you can see I'm creating a line on the side of the hair to just make sure that it's nice and even and it has a good finished look. Now once you get all these in place, you can go back through and kind of move them to the side a little bit and adjust them. So they're, they're not perfect, you can always go back through and work on them. Okay, once I have all my ponytails in place, now it's time for my pull-through braid. So I'm just gonna take that first ponytail, divide it into two, sling the second ponytail over, go down to the third ponytail, and tie those pieces in place. Then I'm just going to pancake the edges. So I'm gonna repeat those steps all the way down. Split the ponytail in two, flip the next one over, and attach it to the next ponytail down. And then you're gonna go back through and tug at the edges. Again, split it in two, pull the ponytail through, and attach it to the next ponytail down. Pull-through braids are really simple to do once you get the hang of them, and they just look great, and you always get so many compliments on them. And the best thing is, is pull-through braids really hold in place all day. I mean, if I put this in place, it's gonna look the same when my daughter takes it out. So for toddler hair, it's really great because it's just gonna hold in place. And I definitely like to add a bow to finish off this look. I hope you enjoyed all of these short hairstyles. And if you do recreate them, please make sure to leave a picture in the comments below or tag me on Instagram.